Today on KBD Productions TV, we'll be visiting the beautiful town of Thornton in Ontario, Canada, which is located approximately one hour north of Toronto. I decided to try a few mom and pop shops that I've never visited before and one that I have been to, but needed to go and try again called Ref's Pizza. It's been so long. We'll start our food tour off at Thornton Cafe and Ice Cream Shop to see what's on the menu then venture on over to a chip truck called the Fries the Limit for a poutine. After that, we'll grab a slice at Raf's Pizza and end our tour off at the parlor for an awesome dessert. If this food adventure sounds like an exciting video that you wanna watch, then grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic food adventure just for you guys. Today I'm in the township of Essa in the town of Thornton, Ontario, Canada. And I thought we'd do a little town tour. There are four uh, restaurant locations or places to eat here in Thornton that I know of at the moment. One of them we've been to many years ago and it's uh, Ruff's Pizza, and we did the cheeseburger pizza. Across the street, we've got an ice cream place that does poutine. We also got a chip truck. They also do poutine. They actually are classified as a poutinery, but there's a place that's down here. They have a female on a Kaiser, or female on a, on a bun. I thought we'd try them first, let's go. bacon on a bun. We gotta give that a shot. I got my mask. Do the social distancing. Got the mask on. Let's go check this place out. Not a problem. Hello, how are you doing? All right. Uh, I saw your sign and it says you have the uh, back bacon, pea bacon on a bun. I would love to do that. Thank you very much. Oh, what do you offer to be put on it? Lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise. Lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise. That sounds great. Thank you. So it looks like the corned beef, the back bacon is uh, 7 dollars They've got poutine here, toasted westerns, grilled cheese, club wrap. Soup and salad. Looks like we got some homemade baked goods. Tons of ice cream. But there's other ice cream places. We gotta go to many places today. We gotta divide it all up nicely. We got the old fashioned ice cream sundae dishes. Oh, the banana split one. And uh, then they've got their prices here original ice cream parlor. I'm gonna grab a drink too. Sure. I think I'll just stick with a, uh, a mug root beer would be great. Okay. Thank you. All right guys, got my food. I can take my mask off. I washed my hands with our hand sanitizer. I got two stations there, uh, uh, three stations actually. So uh, the gentleman who owns this, the, the, the man and the woman who owns this place gave me like this whole little history lesson on this building and how old it is. And I think it's 1839. Uh, these owners now have been here for 29 years. Uh, ice cream shop plus food. Again, they've got a lot of the sandwiches as I showed you. Uh, they have old pictures on the wall of what this building used to look like many, many years ago. One of my favorite pictures is this picture up here of the whole town of Thornton. And it's from 1933, which is the year my dad was born, which was kind of cool. So here we go, people. Let's check out this starting our day off with a beautiful female bacon sandwich and I grabbed myself a mug root beer. Uh, I know this is a really cool ice cream shop but I'm gonna be doing ice cream at other places. I'll be coming back here in the future uh, to do other videos for you guys for sure. Obviously the menu is quite extensive so can't wait to come back. 
Cheers, by the way. Mmm. Mug root beer, yummy. Oh my goodness. Check that out, guys. Doesn't that look beautiful? It smells wonderful. I don't think I've ever had tomato and lettuce and mayo on a female bacon. It's a toasted bun, too. It's like a hamburger bun. Uh-oh. It's falling apart big time. Once again, whole lettuce and tomato thing making it all slimy and slippery. Oh, it looks wonderful. Yeah, it's like beautifully grilled. Let's take a bite. For just under eight bucks, it's pretty good for here in Canada. And again, if you want a nice female bacon sandwich and you want to help out a mom and pop shop, come check it out. Definitely get what I got on it. I'm not sure. I think cheese would definitely be an upgrade. The toasted bun is amazing. I'm so glad we came here first and started off our little food adventure with a beautiful sandwich like this. It's filling. Tastes great. Give it a shot. Thank you. Thank you. Off comes the mask when I'm outside. Uh, so one of the things uh, the gentleman who owns this place uh, told me, he says one of the main reasons Thornton uh, has done so well as a small little town is it was people coming up from Toronto would use Highway 27 to get to Barrie and Aurelia and Thornton is just the right amount of distance between Toronto and Barrie for your horses uh, to uh, take a rest. So they used to have a hotel. I think that right place behind me is a, was a hotel. This place was a hotel. And so when people were traveling up from Toronto with their horse and buggy, they get to Thornton, the horses needed to rest for the night. So the people would rest for the night. Their stables used to be in the back. Very, very, very cool. I'm so glad I came here and, and learned what I've learned. Next stop, chip truck. Right, it looks like it's gonna be poutine time. How are you doing today? Great, thanks, how are you? All right, let's do a regular poutine then. You guys use real cheese curds too, don't you? That's right, absolutely. Nicely, that, cause that's, you can't call it a poutine unless it's got the cheese curds. Mozzarella here. Yeah, excellent. Would you like a drink of that? You know what, a water. water <laughs> so, yeah, thanks. How long have you guys been here? Uh, three years, I just started this year. But, oh, okay, yeah. so the chip shop's been here three years. That's right. All, all I saw was uh, good reviews, so I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Next up, I think we'll do Raf's Pizza. And then we'll do this ice cream parlor over here. Uh, but I can't wait for my poutine. It's gonna be good. All right, food's ready. Thank you very much, sir. There you are. Appreciate that. Do you like any salt, pepper, ketchup, or vinegar? Uh, no, no, no. Just a one. Do you have a wooden fork or? Yeah. Oh, there you perfect. are. Thank you. Very well. Good day. You too. That looks really good. All right, guys, ready to eat? Take off the mask. Put that on our leg. Oh, that looks wonderful. Let's go in for a close-up. All right, guys, going in for the extreme close-up of this beautiful-looking poutine. Those fries look perfectly done. Check out that golden goodness. Then we got those huge, chunky cheese curds, which make the poutine one of the most incredible feasts on the planet. Then we got all that hot gravy. It looks like a beef-based gravy, but we'll find out in just a second. Holy cow, let's eat. All right, guys, let's open up our water. I've done my pop already for the time being. Ah, it's good to have water once in a while, especially when you're going to eat something as salty as a poutine. Let's get right into it. Uh, to all my Canadian brothers and sisters out there, would you put salt, pepper, or ketchup on this? I don't think you're supposed to. If anything, pepper. You don't need salt on this. It's already salty enough. Oh yeah. Those beautiful cheese curds. So happy. 
that they have cheese curds because it is not a poutine, people. Unless there's cheese curds. The french fries are nice. Perfectly cooked. I'm hoping the wind doesn't blow the camera over, but be prepared. Again, a nice, amazing snack. If you're on your way through Thornton, coming up from Toronto, going up north, on your horse and buggy, <laughs> stop in to this fry truck, get yourself a poutine. Very filling. Usually when you get yourself a poutine, you don't need anything else. This is an, a meal within itself, and if you eat this plus something else, you're gonna be very, very full. Mm. Usually poutines of this caliber and this size are around six to ten dollars. So I'm not sure. I think the water was maybe a buck, and this was six or seven. I guess it was seven dollars. So a poutine this big at seven bucks is a bargain. And I totally recommend it, guys. Give it a shot, man. A thing of beauty, and you got to check it out. Thank you very much. The poutine was awesome. Oh, happy to hear it. Okay, see you again. Have a great day. Super friendly here too. All right, let's go over to Ruff's Pizza right across the street and pig out. It's been so long. Hello. How you doing? All right, how you doing? Yes. Long time no see. What can I do for you? I am going to do a slice and uh, a beverage of some type. Oh, they're over here. Everything's good. It's going very well. I'm glad to see you're still around. Yeah, we're doing well. Uh, just a regular uh, pepperoni. That'd be great. All right, guys, what would you do? Pepperoni or Hawaiian? Pepperoni? Or Hawaiian pepperoni, of course, pepperoni. All right, guys, this is Joe. Joe, say hi. Hey, everybody. Thanks for the pizza, sir. It looks good. Hey, no worries. Time to eat. Enjoy. Thanks, Joe. No worries. We'll do it, buddy. Oh, thank you, sir. All right, let's find a place to eat. All right, guys, got my beautiful pizza from Ruff's. Take off our masks so we can eat. Oh, yeah. Let's go in for a close-up. All right, guys, check this beautiful slice out. Look at all that cheese, tons of cheese, lots of pepperoni. That dough looks beautiful. All right, guys, let's eat it. All right, guys, cheers, show the logo. Again, beautiful day here in Thornton. Perfect day to, to walk around, enjoy the people, enjoy the town, enjoy the weather, and enjoy the food. The type of mozzarella they use and the pepperoni and the uh, the marinara sauce they use for this pizza all work together really nicely. And that perfectly baked pizza crust, it all works together. There's a hockey arena over here. <laughs> Great place. Let's put up a pizza shop. All the moms, dads, kids coming in and playing hockey. Unfortunately, because of COVID, they probably lost a lot of business because of that. That's why I'm doing this uh, video, guys, so to get you guys back out and buying some cool food in places that you have access to. The mom and pop shops, they need us. We need them. Guys, you gotta try this Ruff's Pizza. It's one of my favorite pizzas around. They make their dough every single morning. Uh, it's always fresh, it's always good. Uh, and again, you gotta check out their cheeseburger pizza that I reviewed a couple years ago or more. Uh, phenomenal pizza. I'm gonna keep eating and then we'll move on. Mm. Oh yeah. All right, all done that wonderful slice. Let's put our mask back on and head over and get some ice cream for dessert. It's 2.35, I'm at the parlor now for my ice cream. I talked to the owners and they said their waffle cones are one of the most ordered things. Hi, how are you doing? How are you? All right, 
I hear your waffle cones are like the most popular yeah. item here. So I think I'm gonna do uh, the chocolate chip cookie dough. Okay. And I hear you have like a mint chocolate chip. Yeah. yeah. I hear those two are really good together. So let's, let's give that a shot. And it, do you guys put like whipped cream on the top or? Okay, let's do a little whipped cream on the top. Of course. And do your waffle cones, are they just straight up waffle cones or are they chocolate inside? Or? This is the regular ones, okay. Thank you. That's it, thanks. 550? Oh, what? Oh, uh, no, sorry. Thanks. Well, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. And you guys can keep the change. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Apparently, they also have like a rewards card that uh, if you get, looks like eight, nine, on the ninth one or the tenth one, you get free. So check it out, the parlor. Thank you. Enjoy. I will. Thank you. It looks beautiful. All right, guys, let's find a spot and try to eat this thing before it melts. All right, guys, this is how we're ending off our day. Chocolate chip cookie dough, mint chocolate chip with whipped cream. Let's take a bite before we lose it. Mm. You gotta start it off with the whipped cream. I think I almost needed a spoon with this, but we're gonna try <laughs> to eat it. Isn't that a thing of beauty? I should have taken a picture, but it's melting fast. It's not, it's not that hot out, but it's melting quick. I think we have to do the whipped cream first. Get that out of the way. Are you a biter or a licker? Let us know in the comments below. And of all the ice cream flavors that I showed you on that list of ice cream flavors, which one would be the two or three that you would jam into this cone to enjoy. Uh, I was recommended this, which is interesting because these are actually two of my favorites. So the owner, I asked them what their two most popular uh, ice creams were that somebody would stick into a cone, and it just so happens it's exactly the two that I like the best. And we've got some screaming kids enjoying their ice cream over there. They're having a good time. A couple of things I learned about this building is that it used to be a schoolhouse. I can't remember what year it was built, but it used to be a schoolhouse. It used to be the blacksmith. And I can't remember exactly how many owners have been through here in the last 30 years. So it's been turned over many, many times. But the two owners that own it now, uh, they've been in here for three years and are loving it. And they actually do own the ice cream parlor and the chip truck. So once again, coming through to Thornton, support your local ice cream place, fry truck. If you want pizza, go over to Refs. Mm. It's been years. <laughs> the problem is the wasps. If you know, this year is the year of the wasp. These kids are freaking out about the wasps. Which I would too if I was uh, five years old. Uh, they get their ice cream from Peterborough. I'll see if I can remember where they get their ice cream from, but uh, it is very good. Nice and creamy. We got our first piece of cookie dough coming out the bottom. Mm. Got to love the cookie dough ice cream. They used to make their own uh, waffle cones. They had to kind of stop because of COVID, so now they have to buy the waffle cones. And uh, so let's see, get into this waffle cone and see if it's any good. All right, first time. Oh yeah. Waffle cones are so much more superior to regular ice cream cones. Much more enjoyable to eat. Regular cones are like cardboard. <laughs> this has flavor. It's nice and sugary. Obviously nice and crunchy. Nice bit of huge chunk. My tooth is frozen. I'm now into the chocolate chip cookie dough, which is wonderful. Pretty nice chunks of uh, cookie dough. Creamy, delicious, and wonderful.
As you can see, we are almost done. Nice big glob of ice cream in the middle. Mm. Just beautiful ice cream. Mm. Ice cream went all the way to the bottom. That is probably one of the better uh, chocolate chip cookie dough ice creams I've ever had. And it's right in a town, somewhat near me. I'll be coming back. Waffle cone, still crunchy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this was a great day in Thornton for food, adventure, history of this little town, and ending it off with that beautiful uh, ice cream cone, waffle cone, was just the best. All right, guys, if you loved this town tour and food adventure, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to show your support for me doing this video just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out this phenomenal playlist over there, and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.